That is sick. So how much is that? Like 1.5 kg or? 1.7. 1.7? Yeah. Wow. That is a serious crab. Look at that. Welcome to another episode of Chopstick Travel. I'm Luke Martin and today is day two here in Sri Lanka. If you didn't check out the previous episode, hit the link down in the description box. We took you for the ultimate street food tour of Colombo. There was chicken, masala chicken, farangi chicken, jelly chicken, kanduri chicken, grilled chicken, roast chicken. Bar. So as you just heard from the owner, they have every dish basically imaginable. Today I have a really exciting episode planned for you guys. We are going to be visiting a restaurant that I've been looking forward to since the minute I knew I was coming to Sri Lanka and that is the Ministry of Crab. It is a legendary crab restaurant. Sri Lanka is famous for their lagoon crabs and this restaurant is number 35 on the Asia's top 50 best restaurants list and the only one in Sri Lanka to make the list. So we're going to be having some delicious seafood crab especially I'm hoping for some really big crabs but there's a couple other things on the menu we want to try we're gonna be checking out the kitchen and I got to get into something a little bit nicer before we go to the restaurant so get dressed and then we'll head to the Ministry of Crab all right we are ready to go Damn. good ready for some crab ready We have made it to the Ministry of Crab. The building that this restaurant is housed in alone is already so cool. It's actually a 400 year old Dutch hospital. So very historical feeling and a very modern yet beautiful restaurant housed in this historic building. So we're just checking out the inside of the restaurant. We're going to head into the kitchen here in a minute. One interesting feature of this restaurant is the sizing chart. You can see behind me here, they have all different sizes of crabs. They're all wild caught crabs delivered uh, three or more times a week and they go all the way up to Crabzilla, which is the largest. Unfortunately, they don't have that today. They only have the OMG, which I think we're going to order. Thank you. We have our drink and they told us they don't serve any Coca-Cola or nothing like that here. So they actually home make their own soda and it's an iced tea soda. So let's try this. Oh yeah, really good. Nice lime flavor and quite carbonated. Mm. The kitchen is still getting ready. We just arrived as they were opening about 12 noon and we have the menu here and it's a little bit different than your typical menu. So they actually have a constitution because this is the Ministry of Crab. So a couple different things uh, about the specifications of how they serve the crabs and how to eat it. And then on the back side, they have the amendments or the menu. So uh, they've picked out a menu for us so we actually don't know exactly what we're going to be getting but I know it's gonna be good. Our first appetizer has arrived and really cool uh, way of serving it. So it's actually served on a cricket bat which is one of the most popular sports here in Sri Lanka. Two of the owners are actually former captains of the Sri Lankan cricket team so we've got oysters served chilled in almost like a shot glass on top of this bat. We've got six of them here and I'm gonna dress them up with some of the condiments that we were given. So we've got two different sauces. One is a house-made soy sauce, which is aged in-house, and then also a house-made uh, hot sauce. And then over here, we've got a lime that has been folded up with some cheese cloth just to protect the seeds from falling out. So I'm gonna take the soy sauce. I'll just do one now for myself and do a little drip of soy sauce, a little bit of hot sauce. I love how they're served in test tubes too. Oh, that might've been a little bit of too much hot sauce, but that's okay. And a little squeeze of lime. All right, got my little Ministry of Crab flag toothpick. Swirl it around a little bit here. And let's try, oh man, this fresh raw oyster. Holy hell. Mm. 
Oh, that hot sauce is phenomenal. Really, really fresh tasting. Sometimes when you eat oysters, you might have some of that grittiness in there. None of that, very, very smooth. That hot sauce is just incredible. Oh man, perfect starter. All right, our next appetizer has arrived. This is another one of their signature dishes. This is the crab liver pate, and it is served with palm sugar. So you can see this palm sugar served in tiny little beaker and then it's meant to be spread on this bread. So I believe it's made with the tamale of the crab and it is bright yellow in color. So I'm gonna prepare myself up a little cracker and try it out. So here is the liver pate. You can see bright uh, yellow in color. And grab one of these crisped up breads, almost like a cracker, and grab some of this pate. Oh man, that is like liquid gold. Tiny bit of this palm sugar. Oh, let's try that. Mm. Wow, that is unique. The flavor is definitely seafoody, but it's not very, not as strong as I thought it was going to be. It's like cream, so, so good. Finish off with the appetizers. We are heading into the kitchen now to see the main dishes preparation. That is big. So how much is that, like 1.5 kg or? 1.7. 1.7? Wow, that is a serious crab. All right, <laughs> so we just asked for them to bring out their largest crab. This is 1.7 kg Sri Lankan lagoon crab. Just check out the size of that claw. That thing is huge. Look at that. That's bigger than my head. Much bigger than my head. 1.7 kg. Wow. It feel heavy? It feels about 1.7 kgs, so my arm's getting a little tired holding this thing up. Yeah, man, I am excited to taste this. Look at those claws. Wow, that is a serious crustacean. Okay, we're getting suited up for the kitchen. It is hairnet time. We'll go inside, but we can't uh, reveal the whole process because it is secret, so let's go inside. How does this look? All right, I think that's good. Like a lunch go lady. <laughs> lunch lady? Yeah, okay. Oh, thank you. All right, getting our little bib. Keep calm, crab on. Thank you very much. Very cool. It's a huge garlic chili prawn. Okay, wow. Thank you very much. All right, our chili prawn has arrived. Man, garlic chili. Wow, that smells absolutely incredible. So we do have some utensils. We have the uh, crab claw cracker and also the little pick here. But I'm actually just gonna go in with my fingers and just tear, oh, I don't even have to. They've already removed it. Oh, wow. Look at the size of the tail of this prawn. That is honestly the size of a lot of lobster tails that I've seen. So they've actually removed the shell of the tail. So I'm just gonna go in and take a huge bite of this. That is some seriously soft meat. The flavor of that sauce is just so robust. There's so much going on there. Strong garlic, strong chili. A little bit of heat, but not as spicy as I thought it was going to be, and very buttery. And I just took about as big as a bite as I could, and there's still another whole bite on there. Mm. Oh man, that is incredible. I gotta get my pick. We get this out. Wow, there's so much meat. Mm. Oh man. That sauce is so good. Oh, a little bit spicier that time. Mm. So we are told that these prawns are quite unique because of the amount of meat that is inside of the prawn and you can see it in there. I'm gonna have to pick that out. Oh wow. And look at all that tamale that's coming out with it too. Wow. Whoa. That is like pure butter. Wow, the texture. I've never tasted a prawn that was so tender. Oh man, there is a lot going on inside there. 
just look at the size of the head of this thing. So I have some of the Kade bread, which they have mentioned is wood fired and spread some butter on top. And this is going to be the perfect device for soaking up all of that sauce and some of those prawn head juices that have seeped out. Look at that. Wow, with the butter too. Wow, that saturates completely with that sauce. And butter, slightly salty. How are you guys enjoying it? Oh, Super good. It's delicious, I love Super it. Super good, I'm yeah. excited for the crab. This so. is a pole sambal, which is a coconut sambal. It's very common here in Sri Lanka. Take your spoon, scoop some of this out right onto your plate, and I think it's going to be amazing. So cut that up, put a little bit with it. All right, round two in the kitchen, going for the crab now. Things are definitely starting to pick up in the kitchen here. They're cooking all kinds of different crabs. Our black pepper crab is in one of those walks back there. It smells absolutely incredible and these chefs are uh, doing an incredible job too. What do you think of this kitchen, Sabrina? Amazing. It's really cool to see them doing their thing out here. It's all very calculated. So I'm with the chef and owner here, Darshan. The food is absolutely delicious. Thank you. And congratulations on number 35. He's just top 50. That is absolutely incredible. Thanks for coming by. Yeah, and we're... we're Which crab do you get? Black pepper. Okay. Yeah. Size? Size, I think it was the colossal. Uh, yeah. So that's the light's off now. Oh yeah, we the light's off because we got the last one. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> what is your favorite? Garlic chili crab. Garlic chili? Oh, okay. It, 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 enhance, it, it brings out the flavor of the crab the most. Oh, okay. But the black pepper okay. is the most traditional Sri Lankan, correct? Um, so, chili crab, pepper crab are not necessarily uh, traditional Sri Lankan crab dishes. Yeah, okay. They got flavors in Singapore. Okay. And I think the uh, pepper crab we make here is unique to us, how we make it. Right. And it has more Japanese principles in right. the uh, cooking process of making dashi out of black pepper. Okay, you make dashi out of black pepper. Okay. And then you mix it with the uh, crab. And that, brings uh, so that the gravy that you get has a lot of crab flavor inside them. Oh, very cool. That is very something unique to us. Yeah, and the, the Japanese uh, influence is, is strong and uh, you yes. can feel it. It's very cool. Very interesting. The moment we have been waiting for, the crab has arrived. So there's a few different options as we mentioned earlier, but we ordered the black pepper and I was just talking with Chef uh, Darshan and he said that they actually use a black pepper dashi stock. This is about 1.7 kg, so this thing is seriously huge. Just check that out. It is absolutely beautiful swimming in that black pepper gravy and just check out the size of those claws. I gotta put this down. This is heavy, but just look at this claw. That is absolutely huge. Wow, I don't think I've ever seen a crab claw quite that big. I don't wanna break the meat underneath, but I wanna see if I can kinda of peel this away without breaking. Oh man, look at that. Wow. Oh, I broke a little bit of the meat. Wow, okay. This is absolutely huge. I'm gonna have to get in there dirty and get some gravy to put on top of this. Oh, it's really slippery. Oh man, that is gonna be absolutely delicious. All right, let's try it out. I've been waiting ever since I knew that we were coming to Sri Lanka. I knew that I wanted to eat this black pepper crab at the Ministry of Crab, so now the time has arrived. Mm. Moment of silence. Wow. 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 Although you may assume that the black pepper would overpower the flavor of the crab, that certainly is not the case here. You can taste that sweet, succulent crab meat 
but also at the same time, that rich black pepper, slightly spicy and a slight sweetness too. Just look at that. That is the meatiest crab I've ever eaten by far. There is so much meat in there. There's a lot to get at, but that first bite was just absolute bliss. Let me try to get, what do I have here? Oh, I've got my pick back here. I'm gonna pick some of this meat out. Try one more bite. Oh yeah, look at all that. What? That is such a meaty crab. Mm. Oh man, that black pepper. That is such a strong black pepper flavor. Never tasted anything quite like that. Wow, this is so good. There's so much meat on this crab. Typically when you have a crab, it's mainly the meat is coming from the claw, but there is meat hiding all over the place. Like these kind of arms or the joint. There is so much meat in there. Look at all that. They've kind of helped you out by cracking some of these open partially, and then you can just kind of pick away at everything else. Oh man. Mm. That is an incredible flavor. I'm gonna go in and try a new part. I'm gonna try one of these lags. Try to break one of these off. Break it there. And oh yeah, there's a ton of meat in there. I'm gonna have to use my pick to get that out. Crack this open a little bit so I can get at that meat easier. Yeah, guys, this is just so good. I've never had a crab like this before. Of course, lobster has a lot of meat in it, but crab is my preferred crustacean. Yeah, look at this. Oh, the lag is always my favorite. You can taste the sweetness of the crab even better. Mm. We have finally got our curry crab. This looks absolutely amazing. It takes a little bit longer to cook, so that's why we're having it last. What do you think? Oh, it looks great. It looks and smells amazing. So we're gonna go right in and just have the claws right now. Yeah. Try it, cheers. So tender. And now the spices it's got a little are bit starting of spice. to kick in. Yeah. yeah, oh that's that's wonderful. That is beautiful. And it just it has just as much meat in the claw as the last one did. Just amazing. Alright, time to crack this open. Beautiful. We are finished off with our meal. Everything was absolutely delicious. So we've got this little bowl here with black tea. It also has an Ayurvedic disinfectant and also some herbs and flour and uh, yeah, just to use to wash your hands and oh, it smells really good. And you definitely need this after a messy meal like that. Whew, and it's served warm. All right, it is time for dessert. And this is something that's actually not on the menu yet. We are the first people to try it. So very honored. And this is a Sri Lankan take on a creme brulee. This is coconut creme brulee using coconut milk inside and then served right in the coconut shell. You can see here and that nice crispy layer from being uh, uh, torched on top. Wow, that looks really good. Let's dig into that. You can see this kind of, oh yeah, very hard layer on top. Listen to that. Wow, that is rock solid. So break through, make sure I get lots of cream underneath. Oh man, this looks absolutely beautiful. Mmm. Oh, man. Wow. I love coconut and that is like pure coconut sweetness. Crunchy on the top but perfectly velvety smooth underneath. So creamy. Oh man, that is so good. Mm. Rich coconut flavor. Look at how creamy that is. Almost a little bit smoky too. This layer on top is so hard, it's like a chip, but it's not too hard. Just perfectly crispy. Look at that, it's almost like a mousse underneath. Mm. Decadent. Wow, really light, but strong flavor. Mm. We are finished off at the Ministry of Crab. What an incredible meal. That was life changing. You could see the old Dutch hospital behind me here. We are super full, super happy to have tried that off menu dessert as well. So we're gonna head back to the hotel now and we'll wrap it up. I loved the local crab. I loved the local flavors. Just wonderful. Yeah, and everyone was super friendly there. Yes. More than a meal, an experience. 
life-changing meal. Super delicious. Very good. Gotta try it when you're here in Sri Lanka. It's a must. <laughs> Makes sense. All right, we are back at the hotel. That was an incredible experience of a meal. Thank you so much to the Ministry of Crab and the Tourism Bureau of Sri Lanka for sponsoring this episode. It is an incredible place to have a meal when you're in Colombo, so I definitely recommend. It's a little bit pricey, definitely, but the flavors are incredible and the experience itself is worth it for a tourist attraction, in my opinion. Everything from the decor to the building that you're in to the friendly staff, it's just all incredible. And especially the taste of that black pepper crab was just mind blowing. So we were actually told that most of the Sri Lankan crabs, the big ones at least, they get sent out to Singapore and some other countries, mostly export. So the Ministry of Crabs actually paying export prices for their own local crabs, which is pretty incredible. But you know, that's just how it goes sometimes. So they get the highest quality even. Um, they get to pick before they send them to Singapore or any other country, they get to pick the number one top crab. So the quality is always the best and you know you get the big size ones too. So if you like today's episode, leave a comment down below. Tell me what flavor you would have ordered between garlic chili, chili, curry, and black pepper. And also like this video and subscribe if you haven't already. We have a ton more stuff coming from Sri Lanka. We are heading up north for our next episode to a place called Jaffna. So make sure to tune in, hit the bell icon so you're notified when we post a video. Otherwise, you may not get the notification. And we'll see you on the next episode of Chopstick Travel. Bye-bye.